This is part two of my story. Okay. Or Kelly Gargas is permanently damaged my daughter. Part two. Okay. Do, 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 do. After, after receiving the restraining order, I was brought into a room where my daughter was waiting with a counselor to monitor our visit. Eden told me she had been staying with my sister the entire time, Kelly Gargas. That's when I finally understood that it wasn't the mafia or bounty hunters that were hired by the investigation company, that it was indeed the state agency police and sheriffs and the, Fed and the FBI that had been assisting on the destruction of my child and I's lives. While in Ohio, the same situations that occur with the police and sheriffs and federal agents in Las Vegas began to occur in Ohio, Columbus, Ohio. The cops kept me out of hotels, stalked my car. I, I caught a U.S. Marshal keeping me out of, out of three hotel rooms in Grove City, Ohio, and I could subpoena the people that worked there and they would tell you. Stalked my car, had employees at the club. I mean, why would you keep someone out of a hotel room? There's no, there isn't a legal recourse on any of this. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Cops kept me out of hotel, stalked my car, had employees at the club I work at videotape me, interfered in my job safety and finances on, on a daily basis, tailed me constantly, and tried to run me off the road and kill me. The, the, my roommate Felicia that I was staying with was reporting to the police daily about my situation. They wanted her to go ahead and have me Baker acted and to try and drive me crazy. Um, when she couldn't, uh, they started having a problem with her. I heard her speaking with the police on the phone. Realizing that I was in a dangerous position and after I had spoken with my daughter and I had gotten the restraining order and I knew that Kelly was making up lies and that if she had already tried to put me in the mental ward three times, okay, and had called the police trying to incarcerate me and they had my other roommate, Felicia, trying to do the same thing, okay, I just figured that there was going to be another false accusation for the restraining order and that they were going to get me in jail any way that they chose, okay? Yeah, any way that they could, they were going to put me in jail. They were furious that I left Las Vegas, okay? Well, they wanted to kill me and it didn't work out is, is, is really what I'm thinking. They were really pissed when I, when I ran away. Realizing that I was in a dangerous position, I fled Ohio. I knew that my sister would make another false report to have me incarcerated for breaking the restraining order. I went to Philadelphia to get out of town and wait for Eden. The police had me followed and I could not get a job. I was also being followed and run off the road in this area. I went to Connecticut. They didn't run me off the road. They tailed me really close. Uh, and got a job at a strip club. The strip club was working with the Connecticut police and feds to monitor my situation. When I realized this was occurring, I fled to my hometown in West Palm Beach, Florida. You know, it's like you can't get away from these people, you know? Once they have you, like they have you. And I mean, they constantly monitor you and 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 ruin your life, okay? And and they're doing it still here, but it's much more subversive. They're getting me kicked out of all my jobs and they're stalking me on the phone here and they're stalking everyone that I speak to and they're calling people after I after I speak to them and say don't hire her, okay? That's their big thing here. Um when I realized this was occur, 